Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Abdul Basit Malik, and my today's topic is burn fat to lose weight. Before we come to the process of fat burning and to enhance the fat burning within the body, we need to know how we accumulate fat inside the body. And it is by a complex mechanism where there are hormonal imbalances, there is sluggishness in the function of all the body cells, and there is decreased activity of mitochondria within the cells, and there is fatty changes, fatty liver, and there are accumulation of central fat. So all this mimics and the body fat is enhanced. We usually eat three times a day, sometimes we snack. What we are eating is carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. In a standard American diet, it is usually 55% of carbohydrates, and the rest is some proteins and some fats. Now what happens when we eat carbohydrates? Carbohydrates, table sugars, glucose and fructose, starches, complex and simple starches, flowers of different grains, flowers of lentils, beans, they all are easy sources of carbohydrates for the body. And when milling or flowering is done, it is easy for the flowers to release carbohydrates because the bond of carbohydrate with the fiber they are lost. So when carbohydrates go into the body, immediately a hormone, insulin is released. Insulin is manufactured in our pancreas by the beta cells and insulin causes two things. One, it enforces glucose to leave blood and go into the cells. And two, it stimulates all the body cells to store fat, to make fat. It puts the body into the storage mode. And here the problem comes. And we are subjected to storage of fat, first of all within the liver, then around the liver, in the peritoneum, around pancreas, around kidneys, around all the other whiskers of abdomen. And this hormonal fat or belly fat is quite very dangerous because it is the main cause of diabetes mellitus type 2, it is the main cause of hypertension, this is the cause of metabolic syndrome, it is the cause of polycystic ovarian syndrome. So a lot of irregularities in the body, they are going on. Now, what are the other things happening in the body due to this high level of insulin or hyperinsulinemia, the high levels of insulin in the blood. Insulin also blocks the impacts of leptin. Leptin is a substance or hormone which tells our body about satiety, that we are full, we don't need to eat more. But when 
insulin blocks leptin or deregulates its function, we keep on eating, eating, eating and eating again. The other reason of overeating is a habit, the habit of eating because carbohydrates, sugars, they have their sweet taste has a sort of addictive mechanism in the body. Even wheat flour is associated by generating the same pathways which heroin or morphine is doing in the brain. So we are addicted to food, we are addicted to carbohydrates and we are storing fat. Now when we have to reverse all this, what we have to do? We have to do many things. First of all, we have to restrict ourselves from glucose, sugars, fructose, high fructose corn syrup, starches, complex and non-complex starches. In this way, when we will deprive our body from glucose, then it will start thinking of other resources of energy, which are protein and which are fat. So remember one thing, our body is set in such a way that if glucose is available, it will not use any other form of energy. When glucose stores are depleted, it will start using glycogen, another form of glucose storage. When they are depleted, then it will use proteins. So there should be enough proteins from the food intake so that the reserves of protein may not be used. The fat burning will start thereafter. So to put the body into a fat burning mode, we need to decrease the number of carbohydrates near to zero. So 10 grams, 20 grams of carbohydrates a day or maybe 30 grams a day, that's all. And again, those carbohydrates should be coming from very complex sources, vegetables, because they have fiber, they have carbohydrates linked with the fibers, not very easy to digest, not very easy to be melted, and they will be hardly available for the rise in the blood glucose. Thus, the body will go into nutritional ketosis. It will start using fats as a form of energy. It will start using, uh, melting the stores of fat. Now, the other things to do is to raise the level of growth hormone. Growth hormone, when growth hormone production is increased, it will increase the metabolism of the body. It will increase the mass of the body. It will increase the lean muscle mass. Until unless the lean muscle mass is increased, resting metabolism cannot be increased. To do that, we need to do exercise. All type of exercises, but the best to raise uh, growth hormone levels is resistance exercises or weight training. But anyhow, um, cardio, aerobics, Tabata, high intensity interval training, sprinting, all form of exercises that are equally good. And then we have to put a distance between eating. So, grazing like animals is not recommended at all. If we are eating again and again, it will promote the production of insulin. So, eat what is required and eat at intervals. The intervals should be maybe more than 8 hours between meals, maybe 12 hours, maybe 14 hours, maybe 16 hours intermittent fasting. So this will promote reduction of insulin levels in the blood and it will reduce production of insulin from the pancreas. If we are eating again and again and again, no matter the calories we are taking, they are not too much. 
but it is still stimulating pancreas to promote more insulin and we need to reverse that so fat burning is only possible if we are eating two times a day one time a day which is called OMAD is the best or we are eating two times a day we are having a lot of fats and a lot of proteins now there are proteins and there are fats within the animal products within the animal meat within beef chicken fish and other forms of red and white meat seafood they all have fats and proteins all together generally on an average in fish and beef there are almost 20 percent of fats within those meats and 30 to 32 percent of proteins per 100 grams of meats similarly in eggs there are six grams of protein and a lot of fats good fats so eggs are good meats are good dairy is good but not for all mostly uh, butter and ghee is good some sort of cheese is also okay Greek yogurt is good because it has a lot of proteins in it vegetables they are the best and the vegetables what I recommend is the fermented vegetables sauerkraut kimchi or you can make your own taste of vegetables your own style uh, of um, preserving different vegetables into vinegar and salt make your own vegetables and keep them and eat them they will enhance the activity of microbiomes and probiotics and it will be quite beneficial for quick weight loss they will give us less calories less carbohydrates we are eating proteins we are eating fats this whole mechanism will put us into ketosis and this is not the ketoacidosis which is a dangerous phenomena in type 1 diabetes but this is nutritional ketosis and a lot of research have been done and a lot much have been shown that nutritional ketosis is a good form of losing weight it is a good way to lose weight so guys let's start with decreasing sugars say no to table sugar say no to high fructose corn syrup say no to all the processed substances the processed uh, materials I don't call them food and uh, start eating healthy organic meats healthy organic vegetables healthy organic foods thank you very much if you like the video please subscribe the channel and share it to your friends and family and again follow me at YouTube thank you very much